Hey, I'm Anne Marie from Organize Me of New York. Today, I'm going to speak to you about how organizing can support the goal of healthy eating, which is of course essential for keeping the immune system strong. Specifically, I'm going to give you three great tips you can use when setting up your refrigerator, pantry, or cabinets. Even if you are a healthy eater in your non-pandemic life, many are expressing real challenges in this area during their quarantined life. So first off, you are not alone. Most of us are not used to being home all day, every day. Being off of our regular schedule, we're eating at odd times, out of stress and boredom, we're snacking while we binge watch TV shows, and if you're a parent, you have to keep on top of what your kids are eating as well. Now that quarantine has been extended, it's a great time to reevaluate our choices regarding nutrition. A few weeks of being off track is one thing, but over time, unhealthy eating can cause a whole host of health problems. I'm not a nutritionist or a medical professional, so I'm not qualified to make any specific claims about what makes a food healthy for you. What I can speak about confidently is how organizing can support you in eating healthier. In general, when a task is challenging, we want you to do two things. Make it as easy as possible to do it and give ourselves as few excuses as possible not to do it. Taking the time to organize your pantry and refrigerator is a great first step in setting you up for success. Here are my top three tips which can apply to a fridge, pantry, or cabinet. Number one, place the healthy foods you want to be consuming at eye level and or within easy reach. Make it as easy as possible to grab fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, whatever foods you want to have more of. You don't want grabbing a healthy food to be a multi-step process. For example, not everyone should use the crisper drawers in their fridge. For me, those drawers are honestly where things go to die. Instead, consider keeping your fruits and vegetables on the regular shelves so their beautiful colors can draw you right in and you're not tempted to eat less healthy choices. Believe it or not, for some, the added step of opening the drawer would be enough for them to just grab something that's closer, whether it's healthy or not. Behaviorally, it's fascinating and it's real. So as you're establishing new eating habits, keep all the good stuff visible and not tucked away in a closed drawer. As for treats and things you want to have once in a while, or if you're a parent, snacks you want to control for the kids, Place these items on higher shelves or in places where it's not quite as convenient to access. Number two, create drawers on your shelves using square or rectangular open bins. Group like items together and corral them in a bin. I happen to like these ones from Interdesign, but behaviorally, you can use a shoebox to achieve this. When you need something, you pull it out, you rummage around, you grab what you want, and then you push it back in. It makes it super easy to see what you have and access it, and it prevents things from getting lost in the back of the cabinet or shelf, what we like to call the abyss. And last but not least, number three. To maintain good portion control, as well as to increase your chances of making healthy choices, Prep your snacks for the week in advance. Create pre-portioned snack baggies and have them ready to grab and go. It's worth the time spent prepping on one day to keep you on track for the other six. Even if you buy pre-packaged snacks, take them out of the box. Store them in an open bin to make them easy to grab and go. Because the less time you spend looking around, the less likely it is that you will give up and grab something less healthy. So these are three things you can start doing today to help support your goal of eating healthier during quarantine and beyond. 
Hopefully all this healthy eating will help keep your immune system nice and strong. To learn more about this topic and get more immunity boosting ideas from our other coaches, please register for our next online resilience summit on Friday, May 1st. We'll answer your questions live and give you tips to make the most of these challenging circumstances. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy.